Okay, today I thought we'd take a look at these uh, three strange robots, which tend to look like they're the same, but they're, they all are a little bit different. They're from around nine, the late 1970s. I think this one was dated uh, 1976. This one was made in Japan. And let's see. I'm trying to look for any other information there that might help you, but basically you can turn a knob on its back to adjust its height, so it's a height extender and it walks. This one runs on two C cells with a flashing light up in the head and a clicking sound. Sold in, in different color combinations. This was uh, the picture window box. This is my Robo and this is the the white version. The uh, two C cell batteries go up here. There's the on off switch and then this knob you can see will adjust the length of the legs so you can make them grow and shrink and uh, the arms are poseable and when he's on you do have the flashing light and the clicking sound and of course the walking sound so next I think came these ones here I don't know which came first or if they may come out about the same time, but I believe, yeah, these were made in Hong Kong. Space Monster. And it's a very strange battery arrangement in, in this one. They're running on four AA batteries, but each group of two is put in parallel. And there's Nothing to stop a kid from accidentally turning one of the batteries around when he jams them in there, which would short out the whole thing. The batteries would get hot and melt down, and just a wonderful time. But this one is different. Yes, it has the adjustment knob on the back for adjusting the height, and yes, it has the flashing eyes, but this one also has an electronic sound effect, which the, uh, the others of this type didn't. It's got a strange viewport up here. And I was going to say, there's other uh, versions of these too. I think there was one that was remote controlled optically or something. I don't think I have that one. So here's your knob for adjusting the leg height. Big adjustment, right? And here's that uh, bizarre battery arrangement where you stick. It'll run on just two pen lights since uh, everything is in just in parallel. But there's nothing even to keep these from falling and getting in the wrong place. That's why I think this battery box compartment is big enough. I think the other version that maybe was optical, they might have had a nine volt battery stuck in here between the two or something, I don't know. But anyway, they expect a kid to make sure that he puts the batteries in, she, whoever, in the correct direction. Because if you flip this one over, this is just solid metal across there. You've now shorted the batteries out and uh, it's gonna get real hot real quick. So, I'll leave the battery door off for now. You already know it fits. There's your on off switch. You got the flashing light. And of course, the locking action. Well, even besides the light up eyes, you also have one light up in the chest. Okay. So, now the yellow one looks almost identical and the box looks almost identical until you get close and you notice that the box doesn't mention anything about the electronic sound. It has a little marking things at the mouth like maybe something's going on, but it, it's not. It's just with light up eyes, space monster. They did the same uh, strange battery arrangement of the four AA batteries. So it's a 3 volt toy, not a 6 volt. They're just putting them in parallel for a longer run time. You have the, uh, the same adjustment on the back for the leg height. I guess if you got a, a short doorway that he needs to go through, you shrink them down and otherwise you can uh, uh, adjust them up.
I should say there's one other difference also, obviously, you can see. The arms are mechanically linked. In the uh, earlier My Robo, the hands are just posable. They're not mechanically linked to move. I can't remember. Was this one? Yes. So there's another difference between the uh, Hong Kong versions and the uh, Japanese version, the original one. So there you have it, some uh, robot extenders.